Hey guys, it's Vadi with MaxSec, and believe it or not, we are here in Shunde, China, where Maidea has invited us for a world's first exclusive tour of their beautiful headquarters and all of their facilities and all the tech. They're gonna show us how advanced they are because when you think of a company like Maidea and the products, you don't realize how much tech goes behind it. So we are so excited to go see how all of this is made and see all their different factories and everything. So let's jump right into it. So here we are, we're about to enter the showroom and I'm not kidding when I say this is the most luxurious and fanciest headquarters that I've ever seen. So here we are in the first section, which is the robotics. And I have Safiya here from Idea. Hello guys, I'm Safiya from Idea Group. And now I'm doing overseas sales and mainly focus on North American market. These robotics machine were comprehensively used on our production line. For example, the one next to you, we call it EVA. So you can see the design. It's just like our arms, right? Yep. So it has seven axes on it. The more axis, the higher sensitivity. You can see the design here, this one can be changed according to different needs. This one is called KR60. Why the, it's 60? Because the highest loading weight can up to 60 kilograms. Wow. So it's That's almost different. useful for every industry that requires yeah. human machine collaboration. And nowadays the market share of this product in the automobile manufacturing industry ranks top one in the world, top especially one. in the North American market. And we have some famous partners, for example, BMW, BMW. Um, Benz, Ford, etc. Ford are, too. Yeah, they are wow. all using our products. And right here, you can see Maidea's brand wall where they own all of those different brands including Toshiba, which is really big in the States. Everybody is very familiar with it. So it's really cool to see just how many brands they own. They're just massive. Right here, you can see one of their high-end brands, which is Como, which is for basically um, smart home products like this. You can see this really cool device right here, and you might not understand what it is, but it's actually an AC unit. Not only that, but if you open it up here, you can actually change out the modules to do different things like filtering, removing dust, removing odor, deodorizing. And right here, they have a massive display of smart home products like smart kitchen appliances. They have some vacuums right here, dehumidifiers, stoves, rice makers. And not only do they make products like that for consumers and robotics automotive, they also have HVAC and building systems where here they have a basic two-in-one server rack system where you can control everything. It's all enclosed. Very nice, very modern. Right here, they actually make elevators and elevator systems. This is Linval, their brand. And on top of all of that, they also make tech and systems for the medical industry, which I completely like blew my mind. Just the different categories and the different levels of everything that they make. I had no idea that my Dia makes all of this tech and it's all so advanced with the AI and robotics and everything. I'm just really, really impressed. We just finished up with lunch. They were nice enough to give us some awesome sushi and show off their smart tech home, which was really cool. And here we are in the dishwasher factory. They actually named me the general manager, factory manager for today. So technically um, I'm the boss here. So it's gonna be really cool to show you guys exactly step by step how a dishwasher is made. And I'm really excited to see all the robotics and technology that goes into this, so let's go. And here we are in the first step of the process to making a dishwasher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through each step and how everything is assembled and put together. As you can see right here behind me, they have these little baskets where they're putting the metal rods and assembling them into place. And what the machine does is that it takes it, spins it around and it puts it into that press where that press kind of stamps it and welds all the metal together and then it goes out. So let's go see the next step. And now you can see right here that it's taking all the wires. It's moving it over to this press. And just in a second, you're going to see how it's going to press it into that basket shape and basically weld it all in one step, which is really cool. It's a really automated practice right here. And then when they're done and pressed, they go onto the conveyor belt and place on these racks where they get taken to the next area over there where they actually get hung up and they go through this process where it follows this kind of assembly line thing where it gets dipped into a certain material that gives it that nice gray look. So come check this out. You can see they're getting hung right here. They're going up all the way around 
and they get through the process and ready for the general assembly of the little pieces. And check this out, guys. They actually have robots that move shelves and stuff following these little QR codes. And right here, you can see they have four massive machines that are doing sheet metal, basically pressing into the form of the outer shell of the dishwashers. So you can see they're all working at the same time, working very quickly, very efficiently, pressing them and going down this line to the next step. Now, if you remember that robotic arm that I showed you back at the showroom, what they're doing here is they have a stack of insulation. What, what it does is it picks up the insulation, puts it there. It brings it over here to this conveyor where it takes off the film, the plastic wrap, and then the robotic arm picks it up and then they basically combine the sheet metal on the inside to the insulation and then it puts it on that conveyor belt where it goes into the heat source to basically melt the insulation on it and then you have basically the final product where you have the finished interior with the insulation on there. And here we are at the assembly line section of the factory. This is a different building and you can see that they have different pieces of sheet metal for assembling the, the inner tank essentially. So we have somebody who takes this, puts it together on there, on that line, and that robot grabs two more pieces, puts it together, goes all the way around where we have that automated robot once again, that picks it all up, sticks it over to the next section, where it basically goes through and just puts everything together to create the inner tank all very, very quickly. So this is really awesome to see. And here he is assembling the door onto the actual inner tank. So you see the hoses that were assembled on, different parts. He put the door on, then it goes over where it's now screwed on. So it's basically just going down the production line and all the pieces are being put together very efficiently. Now, if you remember those wire baskets and those other parts, you can see them coming down this hangar from the other facility. They all got brought down here to the general assembly where they're being put into each one of the dishwashers. And you can see they're being assembled, all the different parts, they're being cleaned out. They're being cleaned in terms of the dust. All the parts are being put on, everything from the outside, pipes, hoses, everything. You can see now the exteriors are being put on here. And here you can see the finished product is coming off the line. They're wiping it down. They're putting in a couple of pieces for uh, just maintenance pieces. It looks like on the inside It's going down this line and it's going to a section where it's doing an AI inspection using cameras to make sure that everything's where it needs to be. Everything's done properly. And then here you can see they're putting on the cardboard on the finished dishwasher. They're coming down the line where it's automatically just putting everything together, doing the straps. And then here you can see that it's going all the way down and it's being sent off to shipping. And here we are in the vertical warehouse where you can see we have all these very, very tall storage racks. And we have this robot that is essentially grabbing these crates, picking and packing them into different levels where then we have robots that move with those shelves and place them in automatically. And if you wanna know what's in those crates, come over here, I'm gonna show you right over here. We actually have a bunch of electronics, motherboards and other electrical components that are placed in these storage bins and just stored up on all of those racks. And if you wanna see how these are made, let's actually go to the digital production warehouse or factory where the actual PCBs are created. And now we're going in to the electronic workshop where we actually have to be here, which gets all of the dust off. So it's getting really loud. Here is the electronic workshop where they create all the PCBs, microchips, everything get put together onto all the electronics that are needed for the various dishwashers, for the touchscreen displays, everything, all the electronics that go in are made in this factory. And over here, we have a different version of a different uh, logic board chip. You can see that it's doing this sort of paste, and I think it's some sort of solder paste to make sure it solders on later. It basically applies it. It goes through the uh, scanner right here to make sure that it's applied all evenly and that everything's good and ready. And then it goes on to probably the most interesting machine that I've ever seen here, where it's basically surface mounting different chips and capacitors, transistors, whatever on top. You can see all these spools. These spools have these tiny little chips where they're fed up into this machine and you have this robotic arm 
that is moving incredibly quickly, going around and just pop, 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 like just printing on top of their motherboard, which is really, really cool to see how fast these machines work. Just surface mounting all those things. Here you have even bigger chips and different chips. And finally, you have it coming out right there, all these chips mounted. And now this very long machine right here is actually a um, kind of like a heater and solder where it goes through, it heats it up, it solders everything together to make sure it's mounted properly. And it goes through the uh, inspection. Same thing over there where it goes through, scans it, make sure everything is properly done, properly finished and controlled. And then finally it gets mounted onto each one of these racks and it goes off to the storage and it ends up in a dishwasher. And there you guys go, that was the Mydea factory tour. I gotta say, I was completely mind blowing from everything I saw there at their headquarters, at their factory, seeing all the technology and the robotics that goes into making products like dishwashers, as well as everything else that they make. They're an absolutely massive company. So thank you, Mydea, for sponsoring this video and inviting us over to your headquarters and factory. It was an absolute blast and hopefully you enjoy this video. If you did, definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.